Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, we're going to talk about a movie called The Bone Collector. The Bone Collector came out in 1999, described as a thriller film, directed by Philip Noyce. Noyce! Starring Denzel Washington and Angelina Jolie. As a fan of these type of thrillers, this one stands out to me. As much as I love Denzel Washington as an actor, I'm not a big fan of the movies he's known for. I'm probably a bigger fan of Deja Vu, Fallen, where this movie stands out to me. I love this movie. It's got just enough of the mystery in it. Angelina Jolie's awesome in it. It's got a really cool twist. It even has Queen Latifah in it. Everything works for me. The pacing in a movie like this, you're expecting it to build slowly. You got clues. You got to figure things out. Try to get ahead of things. It's based on a um, a novel, or a crime novel they call it, by Jeffrey Diva, uh, the detective Lincoln Rhyme. So there's a quadriplegic detective, Denzel Washington, and he comes across a, or is asked to look over a case. And a new rookie, Angelina Jolie, just happens to get caught up in this. And there's some chemistry between that he recognizes that she's more than just a rookie cop on the beat because she has the, you know, the uniform with the hat. I think there's a really good chemistry here. Again, as a Denzel Washington fan, I recognize he's a great actor, but I'm not a bigger fan of the older stuff and the things that he's probably known for. And here he is as a quadriplegic knocking it out of a park for me. There's just enough angst about the character, why he is the way he is, what his um, struggles are, how Angelina Jolie, uh, a fresh-faced rookie, gets you know placed in his life, and how it kind of affects his personal struggles. It's done so well. I always watch this movie every chance I get. If I see it, I actually will watch it multiple times. It's just got everything I'm looking for in this type of thriller. It's a way to who done it. You're looking at a procedural type thing. There's horrific setups and rituals that the killer does that you're trying to get ahead of, trying to, you know, uh, you know, get ahead of the game if you if you can understand what he's doing the patterns you can get ahead of it and, and catch him and stop him and that's the gist of it without giving away major spoilers or plot lines now i there was an announcement for a tv show i don't know if it ever came out but i'd be interested to see if that's something that was uh had even a potential of coming out. Because I'd like to see the exploits of this character. To give you a little bit of how he got to where he was. I don't know if he's a forensic expert who has like a history or when he got paralyzed, then he went into uh, certain areas or something. But there's a underlying story about his... Uh, struggles and how deep he is and at the same time he's trying to uh, save people's lives so some of these setups are gruesome there's a uh, you know a horror element but in a real life way that some people might find kind of off-putting there's you know depictions of 
real kind of torches and that scene set up some seven might be a good example in a way another movie i love this isn't as pulse pounding as that but it's got enough of the elements that it works on you know almost every level for me there's a personal stake here with his attitude towards life and coming to understand you know what he can do for the force or i guess his work and the ex- kind of extended family he keeps at bay so to so to speak i I think they're giving the hint that it's recently because they do show how he was injured so i'm not sure if it's like within two years ago he was injured that type of thing i'll have to do a little bit more maybe should do some actual work with this stuff but the bone collector is one of those movies i find myself always watching it's filmed awesome it's got a great feel to it it's got enough of the thriller with a uh you know a whodunit type thing Putting the puzzle together, keeping your your mind going at all times, trying to figure out, you know, what's the misdirection. It just gets really deep with um, how the killer's mind works. And, you know, you got this rookie who he sees these traits and he's kind of grooming her to say, you know, you, you have the eye, you know, you have the he's got to walk her through it. She doesn't know how to keep a crime scene clean, like all that stuff in the beginning. And he's got to walk her through it. And it adds a level of um, realism. And he can see how sharp she is and how good she is at her job. How uh, her methods are maybe something he could leave behind as if he can hone them and get them better to show her that She doesn't have to be a normal B-cop, but she has a special talent. There's a lot of levels to the movie in that way. And like I said, there's a personal struggle. You know, he's a quadriplegic, stuck in a bed, trying to help out with a murder. There's a plot twist type thing that involves, um, you know, his past and how he was injured and what he's done during his career. And... It's one of my favorite performances of him. He doesn't, he's just lying there. It's just amazing. So maybe in a sense, I would uh, go back and watch some other movies that never interested me or that I don't have a great uh, fondness for because he is that good of an actor. And the cast works so well together. I like um, Angelina Jolie's portrayal. I wouldn't count her as one of the greatest actresses ever, but she just works in this movie it just wows me every time i watch it entertainment values there the bone collector is a really good movie underrated if there's a i don't know i'm so detached from that uh, you know now that i'm just getting back into things maybe there's a huge uh um amount of fans or something for a movie like this I don't know. I something tells me there's there's a respect for it, but there's not too much in the uh, wide appeal. I think it's an excellent movie. Um, in my opinion, great. I recommend everybody watch it if you're into this thriller, who done it type. Get ahead of the killer. It is going to depict some real life stuff that'll be traumatic in some sense. It's a, uh, you know, the mind of a demented killer type thing, and they've got to get in there and figure out, you know, what he's using, what's his methods, and where do they stem from. Um, There might be a plot of, like, figuring out um, cases that had to do with it that link back to a certain correlating fact, and they got to dig into that and they're always behind always getting the clue too late so it builds up in that way slow really good ending the reveal is pretty interesting and you get a um really different look into the 
way an actor portrays a character is so good at it. And I was surprised at how much I liked Angelina Jolie in this. Uh, it works on a lot of levels. Give it a try. The Bone Collector. All right, everybody. I'll see you all next time.